One weekend left of those political ads you likely can't get a break from. Tonight, the Democratic senators in states where Donald Trump won handily, desperately trying to hold on to their seats, many of them now siding with the president on several key issues. But one of those senators who broke with him on Brett Kavanaugh tonight telling us she knew it might cost her her job. ABC's Mary Bruce tonight on the state of the race. From West Virginia to North Dakota and Missouri, in the states won by President Trump, Senate Democrats are now fighting to hold on to their jobs. For Joe Manchin, that means walking a fine line. I stand up and, and I support him when it's good for West Virginia, and when it's not, uh, I stand up to him. In Missouri, Claire McCaskill is eager to show she's willing to take on her fellow Democrats. Just listen to her closing ad. Claire's not afraid to stand up against her own party. Yep, and Claire's not one of those crazy Democrats. But in North Dakota, a state Trump won by a whopping 36 points, Heidi Heidkamp broke with the president on a key issue just one month before the election, voting against his Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. This isn't a political decision. If this were a political decision for me, I certainly would be deciding this the other way. Um, but, uh, you know, there's an old saying, history will judge you, but most importantly, you'll judge yourself. And that's really what I'm saying. I can't get up in the morning and look at the life experience that I've had and say yes to Judge Kavanaugh. It's a decision she knows could cost her her job. If it all comes down to that decision for some voters, was it worth it? Yep. I mean, no regrets. No, I have, I have no regrets. Her Republican opponent, Kevin Kramer, is banking on a Kavanaugh bounce. We're fortunate that Brett Kavanaugh um, was confirmed even without one of our senators voting for him. But Heidkamp says this race comes down to the issues that most impact the rural voters here, like health care and the economy. Oh, how are you doing? But now, in the fight of her political life, she told me this. Millions of people in this country live without being a United States senator. It's not the end all and be all. I hope I'm given a chance to serve my country again. But um, if, if, if that service means that you compromise your principles or your values or what you believe is, is right, you know, that, that it's time for somebody else in North Dakota. All right, we'll see what happens. Mary Bruce joins us live from Capitol Hill tonight. And Mary, for Heidi Heitkamp, who you were just interviewing there, to have any shot of winning, many say she'll likely have to have Native American voters who have supported her before. But there are concerns tonight that many Native Americans in that state, North Dakota, might not be able to vote because of a new law that requires all voters to have a street address. And many Native Americans who live on those reservations simply don't have a street address. Yeah, and David, this fight has been playing out in the courts, and now a federal judge has denied an emergency motion to block that part of this new law. He says any 11th hour change will, quote, create as much confusion as it will alleviate. David? It's going to be a big headline as we watch the returns come in on election night. Mary, we'll see you then. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.